Hi, my name is Chris and I live in a small village on the island of Corfu with my wife Catherine. We share our home with three rescue dogs, Lucy, Mazzy and Chewy. We moved here five years ago from England. Welcome to the Greco Files. Please like and subscribe to get notified of all our videos. Hi there and welcome. Today we're going to be visiting a large supermarket. One of the few reasons under the current regulations that we can leave the village at the moment. So we're going to go down there, have a look what they have on offer. We're then going to compare it to a corner shop and look at the differences and see which you prefer. So first of all, we're going to go to one of the large chain supermarkets, in this case, Sklavonitas. Most of the chains on the island are Greek. The big exception to this being Lidl, which has had a big impact on the island and it's now opened one, two, three stores here. As you can see, the lane's pretty narrow here and Cuthbert doesn't like moving too much, but he always gets out of the way in the end, so don't worry. It's good to have a small car here because anything bigger and it gets really difficult to park it near the house. Most cars here have some minor scrapes and scratches known locally as Corfu Kisses. As we head out of the village, you'll see on the left the village car park. This is where we hold our annual Panagiri village festival, which takes place over two nights in July of each year. We didn't get to have one last year, but we're very hopeful that as things get better, we should be able to hold one this year. Here's keeping our fingers crossed. Okay, here we are at the supermarket. Let's go and see what they have on offer. This is the ready meal section in the supermarket. It's mostly Greek meals which are on sale here, moussaka, pastizio, tzatzikakia, and various side dishes. What we lack in ready meals, we more than make up for in the olive oil and pasta sections. There's a good selection of cooked hams, and of course, being in Greece, there is a really excellent fish counter. At this point, I was thrown out of the supermarket as the manager decided I was an industrial spy. I'm actually quite proud of this. Okay, so right at the other end of the scale, we have a fantastic local shop, a corner shop, here in a nearby village to ours. Okay, this is more like it. Everything you need from a local store is here. Fresh fruit, veg, cold drinks, dried goods, and a small deli counter selling free range eggs, fresh bread, cheeses and hams. They sell wine, beer and cigarettes, so that takes care of most of our day-to-day -day needs. This is the bar area, which is currently closed, but will hopefully be able to open up soon. Right, I hope you've enjoyed having a look at the different types of shops we have here. And in a later episode, we're going to be looking specifically at some prices so you can get an idea of the difference between Corfu and the UK. Okay, so we've got all the ingredients we need. Let's get in there and make these keftedas. Okay, so let's get started with the keftedas, the meatballs. For this, we are going to need beef mince, pork mince, breadcrumbs, an egg, grated onion, dried oregano, dried garlic, olive oil, salt and pepper, and fresh parsley. Grate the onion and add it to a large bowl. The addition of the grated onion is gonna keep the meatballs nice and fresh and light and juicy. Then, quite simply, add all of the other ingredients to the bowl. Mm -hmm. 
soon it's going to be time to get your hands in there and knead the mixture together. So now we've got all the ingredients in the bowl, we're going to get them all together and make a paste. So now that's all mixed together, we're going to put it in the fridge and leave it in there for about an hour. Okay, the mixture has been in the fridge for an hour, so let's get it out and form the meatballs. Okay, we're going to form balls about the size of a walnut and we'll do as many of those as we can from the mixture. Take them out, put it onto a lightly dusted board and start to form the balls. So here we have the meatballs which are ready to be shallow fried in olive oil. Heat the olive oil in the frying pan. We want this to get nice and hot so that we brown the outside of the meatballs when we put them in. Okay, we're going to dredge the keftedas in flour, shake off any excess and then add to the hot oil. These are going to take 8 to 10 minutes to cook. Keep turning them, brown them nicely and make sure they're cooked through before you serve them. So here we have the finished dish, which I've served on a bed of lettuce with a garnish of spring onions and parsley. Finally, I like to add a little extra virgin olive oil to the dish, which just completes it perfectly. Okay, that's all for this week. So remember, stay safe and we'll see you soon on the Greco Files.